What up guys and welcome to a brand new series I'm going to be doing called Build of the Month. Now Build of the Month is pretty simple. Basically every month for Survivor I will be choosing a different build and experimenting with it. One that I like a lot and I'll tell you guys about it and how enjoyable the build is to play. Well it looks like you didn't want to chase me, that's fine. So today's build is going to be more of a supportive info build, which is really effective if you're doing gens or if you're going for saves. Either way, it's a very strong build. And basically what it is, is multiple aura reading perks, kindred and situational awareness, followed by using ace in the hole. See, I'll, I'll explain how the build works later on. For now, I'm going to just try really hard to not die immediately. But one thing that makes this build so good is even if you do go down and you're playing bad, this build is still doing quite a bit for you. So basically how this build works is you have Kindred, which shows the... Dude, are you serious? Okay, so you have Kindred, which shows the aura of the killer when they're near Hook Survivor, as well as showing everyone where everyone else is. And you have Situational Awareness, which shows everyone where you are or when you're on a generator. I'm gonna do a little bit of sneaky looting here. It has nothing to do with the build, but you know, I just can't resist opening those chests up, you know what I'm saying? Round toolbox. Would rather have a green key. What is happening this game? So right now survivors can see I'm on this generator here. What the actual fuck am I witnessing? <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck? I've just tried to show off this build, dude. This game's so weird right now. Anyways. Okay, second part of the build. Here we go. When there is Kindred, because of the fact that I have um, open-handed as well, within 32 meters of a hook, I'll be able to see exactly where the killer is. Okay, we're using the... See, so now that I'm on the hook, within 32 meters of me, they will be able to see exactly where the killer is because I have open-handed along with Kindred. Look how far away you can still see where the killer is. That's crazy. That's broken. And all my survivors know where all the other survivors are so they can go, okay, he can go for the save. Okay, it's safe for him to come this direction. It's so good. Like right now he'd be too scared to come for me because he had no clue where the killer is, but boom. Well, let me see if I can do a little bit of a high level play. I sabled the hook. <laughs> he had to drop, he had to drop huge. So we tried to put him on this hook here, but I saddled it so he could not use that hook and he decided to drop instead of going for the other hook over here. We're just going to go ahead and heal up this guy all the way. Ooh. Dude, Tap literally saved me. Let's go Pyro Free. Man does not want me to be working on gens. It's like he knows what my build is. <laughs> What's happening? Stop. Come on. No, don't give up. <laughs> what is happening here? And uh, I guess we'll try this build again in the next game. Alright, round two. Hopefully we can get some better usage out of the build in this game. And it's a pig as well. I don't mind pigs. I'm definitely fine with that. You know, fun fact, back in the day, pig used to be my least favorite killer to go against. Because everyone used to just tunnel the guy with the trap on his head. Like, every single pig did that. But anyways, we're working on Jen, and already our build is being effective. We're letting our teammates know within 48 meters of where this exact Jen is and where I am currently. And it's not 32 meters, it's 48 because I do have open-handed. It adds 16 meters to all aura reading perks for the entire team. So if our teammates have any aura reading perks with a distance on them, boom. It helps that as well. We're just going to finish up this Jen. 
Nice. We got two gens done. She doesn't have a down yet. And Boon Shadow Step. As well as Circle of Healing. Honestly, we're in a very strong position to snowball. If we really wanted to, we could probably end this game in like a very short period of time. Just because so many things are going our way right now. And a teammate actually found where I was because I was using situational awareness and then they were able to heal because of that. This is what situational awareness is good for. You need to heal, you run over to a person with situational awareness because you know where they are. And what I'm going to actually do is start prepping to go for the save because my teammates are pushing out gens pretty effectively. They don't need me to be here right now. Now the killer does not get that? Oh man. Okay, so three injuries. This is where it gets a little bit more dangerous because of the fact that we could start going down pretty quickly if we're not paying attention. And that's the one thing about killer. Never give up as a killer because you never know when you can snowball the game into a win. So like literally just never give up. You could you could have one hook and have all the gates opened and, and you still will get a kill. What I'm going to do is try to take aggro from the killer. Come here, little piggy pig. I have so many things to show you, Piggy. Oh. Oh. Okay, we got another pallet right here, though, for some reason. And we rode him into our injured survivor, which is pretty bad, actually. And all the gens are done. Wow. She did not even get a hook this game. Now if she goes for the injured person here, which she does, looks like she does not have Noah done. Bait the window. Bait this. She still gets that? I'm so bad. That's okay though, because now my other part of my build is coming into play. Everybody can see each other and the killer within 32 meters. Head on, turns around. She does not get that. We do get this, I borrow time too. You know, one thing that's interesting about this build is like playing without an exhaustion perk, because I literally never do that. I think I play with exhaustion perks less than 90% of players, but I still probably two out of every three games have an exhaustion perk. It is 99, gives our teammates time to heal to escape Arena. We're gonna have to go for a window fake here. Big space. doesn't realize he can leave. So this Dwight doesn't realize he can leave, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go. So maybe he'll realize he can leave. Or get hatched. If the killer puts a trap on your head when all the gens are done, then that trap can't kill you. All right. And for the final game of the night, we will be playing on the Yamoka's Residence. Another trapper. Interesting. You have to be very careful versus Trapper because of the fact that when Trapper gets set up, he's just very, very hard to deal with. And on a map like this, it'll hide his traps pretty well. So we gotta be extremely careful here. We need to be extremely careful of traps though. That's a big thing. If I get trapped here, we are in a lot of trouble. <coughs> Except that isn't the case. 
Let's see if I can get the heal done before he gets back. I'm gonna go back to the generator I was working on. All right, now let's finish up this gen. So with my build, I could run around and try to look for survivors and try to heal them because it's probably important that we heal our teammates. They seem to be going down pretty quickly. But instead, I can just work on a generator and if they need a heal, they can come to me. That way it saves a lot of time, at least on my side, and lets me put a lot more pressure on the generators. Really important. Better together is letting me know where everyone is, and then we get Kindred again. I think I need to be the one to go for the save here since I'm the one at full HP and I, I haven't been hooked yet either. He appears to be leaving the hook, so now seems like a good enough time if any. I'm really gonna try to not step on a trap, but I feel like I'm about to, right? He has borrowed time so we can take the Nice. And that's why we run Borrow Time. He does not seem to want to chase me. Which is unfortunate, but it looks like Borrow Time really saved her skin there. Because he ran into the killer. Maybe he ran into the killer because he had Borrow Time? I don't know. Let's hope he gets healed up soon. If he went down at this point, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Man, that was what I was hoping wouldn't happen. I think there's a pallet up here to my right. This to my left. <laughs> now I don't make it. I'm on the plus side, I'm in a much safer spot now. Trapper's pretty tall, right? Yeah, you're pretty tall, Trapper. You're a tall boy. So here's the game plan. I go for the save, he does the jam. Oh, so they just take the trade here. And boom! My teammates can see each other, my teammates can see him within 32 meters of me. We can coordinate plans, and they know he's coming. He knows he's coming. He literally knows he's coming. Yeah, he can just leave. We'll make it. That's worth healing. I'm fine with him chasing me here. Now we're just doing some basic looping and pathing on this guy. Although he did end up outplaying me at the end there. Let's not back down. Go ahead and throw that pallet down. And I'm gonna try to loop him to the right away from the generators. hold on for a little bit longer and I feel like our teammates will be able to get the last gen done. I'm not going to save this battle, I'm just going to break it immediately. And I really hope they have the gen done. They do, that's huge. I'm going to immediately get away from the basement because I'm not getting saved if I go down there. And I can make it back to this window, okay. Whew! Almost fucked up there. He's too fast, he's too fast. Gotta go for a fake. Damn, this is so tough. <laughs> he's saying, don't save me. He doesn't want them to save me. <laughs> They're not gonna risk it. Oh well. Well, at least I got a front row view to be <laughs> Totally fine, by the way. The killer had every right to camp there. I'm just happy I was able to get my teammates out. And yeah, I think this build is pretty good. It's definitely not meta, but I mean, it, it gets the job done. But anyways, yeah, that's the build. Uh, just in case I didn't say this before, open-handed, borrow time, kindred, situational awareness. Been running this a lot recently. I'm liking it a lot. Let me know what you guys think of the build, and I will catch you guys in the next one.